We have published an add-on called Procedural Fence that helps you to create a fence within seconds, and it can be used in any project. It's created based on geometry nodes, and it's very powerful, so let's quickly discuss how to use this add-on. Once you download and install the add-on, you can access it from this menu option. Then here you can set the desired length and height for the fence that you are creating. But for the other fields that we see here, let's first create a fence, and then we can discuss various options that it offers. So we got the fence created, you can now press F9 to get back this operator box. Here you can change the dimensions of the fence to change its width or height. Then you can change the scale factor, you can reduce this value to get bigger openings, or you can increase this value to get a more dense pattern. You can also change this thickness value if you want for a slim design like this, but 0.02 looks perfect for this density and this design. So if we now zoom in, we can see that the design is perfect, there are no overlaps in its design which means it is physically correct with a perfect mesh geometry. You can also use an alternate design for a variation, so let's press F9 and let's change the fence type from here to twisted wires. It will create the fence with the same dimensions and the same density, but with a different design, a twisted wire fence that is usually found near a secured area. For a better performance, you can even create a low-poly version of this fence by enabling this option. It will create a much simpler version with a low-poly count but with the same look and feel. It's useful, unless your camera zooms too close to the fence, but if you really need a perfect geometry, you should disable this option. Let's go back to the diamond shape design, and we'll disable this low poly option. Now let's see how it looks in the rendered view mode, but remember that you need to have proper lights in your scene. So the add-on has applied a default material for the fence, but you can always add your own material if you want. The download links are given below in the video description if you want to get it, and please note that it is a paid add-on. So that's all for today. I hope you find this product useful. You can drop your suggestion in the comment box below. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel.